The announcement is coming and coming soon. Pacquiao and Crawford, bring it on. Welcome, it's another edition of Coffee with the Goose. You know, we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating, and we got breaking news this time. Stick with me, all right? Uh, first, uh, we'll take just a second now. Got to, got to do it the right way, right? Got to have my coffee. As you know, my coffee, very strong, like my opinion, and got some creamer in there. I don't need it because I'm so sweet, but hey, well, every little bit helps, right? Mmm. All right. It is Coffee with the Goose. Thanks so much for joining me again. And yet, like I said, breaking news. Normally, I'm not, uh, you know, in a big hurry to to uh, get you the latest news. I let other people, you know, spout off whatever they have to say. And most of the time, it's not true. Trust me, this time it's true. I'm going to read a article, part of an article by uh, Rappler.com. Uh, Pacquiao has been doing light training on his own since February. Uh, that, of course, uh, coming off the win over Keith Thurman. July 20th, 2019, so it's been almost two years. This time, however, Pacquiao has summoned his local trainers, headed by Boo Boy Fernandez and Nono Neri, to help him prepare for the pay-per-view bout likely to be against unbeaten World Boxing Organization champion Terrence Crawford. Just what we've been waiting for. Uh, Neri has been in General Santos City since last week, supervising uh, Pacquiao's workouts, which included jogging, hitting the heavy bag, and mitt sessions. And uh, now, uh, Boo Boy Fernandez, his longtime uh, childhood friend of Manny Pacquiao, uh, is the uh, vice mayor of uh, Albay province uh, in the Philippines. And, uh, you know, that's important business. He's only going to take time off from his duties if it's something important. It's important. Pacquiao has said, come on, I need you now. So a uh, boo boy, uh, recorded a message to his constituents saying, Hey, I gotta go. And they understand they know something big is about to be announced and it's going to be announced within just a few days. Trust me. We've got it from the, uh, from the source. Uh, let me fill you in on all the details. Okay. For those of you who haven't been paying attention, I'm sure there aren't many. Uh, Pacquiao, we've been waiting for him to make an announcement on his, his next fight. We've been hoping, even though we've been hearing names like, uh, you know, Conor McGregor, Ryan Garcia, uh, Mikey Garcia, and others, uh, we were hoping it was going to be one of the other two. Uh, well, I guess there's another one now since they took Pacquiao's title away. We were hoping, in the end, it was going to be Terrence Crawford. Why? Well, number one, he is one of the champions. And number two, I think pretty much everybody agrees he's going to be the biggest test for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Terrence Crawford, a native of Omaha, Nebraska, 33 years old, so he's no spring chicken either, but he is the real deal. He's a great champion, 37-0, 28 knockouts, and he's pretty much made everybody look bad. Uh, at the welterweight level, however, he's only fought a few times, I think only six times, but he's a champion, so we're taking nothing away from the guy. And uh, he uh, trains again in Omaha, Nebraska. He owns a sporting goods store or whatever, but he's he is world class. Um, we have been uh, talking, uh, well, we've talked with uh, Pacquiao's trainers in the past. Look back at some of our shows. We uh, interviewed uh, the great trainer, Freddie Roach. Also, he is a strength and conditioning coach, uh, Justin Fortune. And hopefully we'll chat with him again before the next fight. But this fight is going to be announced in the next uh, few days. So you heard it here first. Uh, we're not just saying, oh, it's going to happen just to be the first to say it. No, we've been waiting for official announcements official news from the source it's oh i'm so excited i know you guys are too you know i i have been looking forward to this getting my hopes up getting excited little by little more and more over the last few months because we got the feeling it's going to happen and it's going to happen just last night I watched a couple of Pacquiao fights, a couple of his legendary fights. The knockout of uh, Ricky Hatton in two rounds. And uh, there's a lesson for Terrence Crawford or anyone who thinks Terrence Crawford's going to school Pacquiao and beat him up. And there are those who think that. Uh, Ricky Hatton tried to do that, and he got it handed to him. He was out, out, out cold for like 10 minutes. 
uh, and uh, you play with fire, you're going to get burned. The other fight I watched was the third uh, fight between Pacquiao and uh, um, who was it? Uh, not Sean Porter, my goodness. It was, uh, what's that? Bradley. Timothy Bradley. Yeah, thank you, Jude. Uh, it too. Yeah, there you go. And that was a great exercise on exactly what Pacquiao was capable of doing. He backed, uh, he backed his opponent down the whole fight. Bradley's a great fighter, and he may end up in the Hall of Fame himself. And he beat Pacquiao, right? Well, a little shenanigans there, but you know, Timothy Bradley is a great, great fighter. And to see Pacquiao or anybody back him up the whole fight, that's saying something. And uh, you know, Bradley is a, a very skilled fighter with defense and uh, quick hands and fearlessness and Pacquiao you know had really no problem with him he had him scared no no disrespect intended there Timothy Bradley but he had him scared the whole fight and he beat him and uh by the way who was uh, Timothy Bradley's trainer for that fight let's see who was it recently said that uh, uh Terrence Crawford's too good for Manny Pacquiao and he's gonna beat him up and knock him out Oh, it was Teddy Atlas. Yeah, that was Timothy Bradley's trainer that fight. So, so much for, uh, you know, Teddy Atlas's uh, opinion. And as we mentioned in our last show, uh, Teddy Atlas wasn't the only one. We named four other so-called boxing experts who said that uh, uh, Terrence Crawford's going to beat Pacquiao up and maybe make him retire. We'll see about that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not making an, a, a prediction now. Uh, I'm not so careless as to say Pacquiao's going to beat him up or knock him out. I wouldn't say that. We will make a prediction uh, uh, later. We'll get to that, okay? But I'm going to finish with this. Also last night, a couple of years too late, but also last night, I watched a simulated fight between Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford. And what happened in the fight? Terrence Crawford beat him up and, and knocked him out. And I'm thinking, come on. Let's be realistic. I know it's a simulated fight. It's not the real thing. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by simulated fights. Don't be fooled by Teddy Atlas or Max Kellerman, Stephen A. Smith, uh, or whoever. Don't be fooled. You know, you know Manny Pacquiao. You know his skill. You know his accomplishments. Ain't nobody like this guy. He's a different cat, and he's a dangerous animal when you corner him. And uh, we saw it the last fight where he beat uh, Keith Thurman and won the WBA World Welterweight title. And if you guys think, or for that matter, if Terrence Crawford thinks he's going to beat Pacquiao up and back him down, oh, 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 be ready. It's going to be a great fight, and I am so excited. I know you guys are too. Anyhow, you heard it here first. The word from the Philippines, uh, from Rappler.com, Boo Boy Fernandez and another one of his trainers are, have been summoned to Jensen, and they're going to get Pacquiao ready. It's coming. It's going to be probably June 5th. Probably in the Middle East, maybe Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Uh, and I am stoked. I am so ready for this fight. We'll talk a lot more about it as the days go by. But you heard it here first. The announcement is coming and coming soon. Pacquiao and Crawford, bring it on. This is going to be great. All right, that's it for this edition of Coffee with the Goose. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments. And we'll talk to you again soon. All right, take care.